Well, hello there. Good morning. This is Sketch Monkey here. BMW just dropped a new concept car called the BMW Vision M Next. And in this video, we're going to talk about its design and see if we can make some changes to it, some tiny changes to maybe make it look a little bit less like an anteater and more like a BMW. All right, BMW, let's see what you got. BMW Vision M next. Who are you? I don't know. A driver. Do you feel it? Feel what? The power of attraction. Well, I'm not attracted to it right now, I can tell you that. Can you control it? The drive to move beyond? Move beyond what? Specifically, are we talking about here? What captures your eyes? Or capture your heart? Okay. Not in all cases, but... I get it. to go from B to T. Boost? You have it in your DNA. You make the choices. Okay. You're just one. Don't look back. It's straight ahead. If you are a driver... I am a driver. Keep it alive. I'll try, but... BMW Vision and Next. A statement for the driver. Okay, it's a statement for the driver, all right? So let's talk about the design of this. What it reminds me of, personally, the first time I see this car, what it reminds me of is one of these. But I don't know why, <laughs> it's just, it doesn't even look the same, but that's the first thing that popped into my head, is one of these. I think it's because the long nose of it just sticks out so far. This is Shmi's video right here. You can see it overhangs everything else in the front of the car. And that to me kind of looks like an anteater. But I don't know, in general, uh, car designs today, they don't really excite me anymore. It's the same old recycled stuff. All the commercials are the same. It's about feeling, driving in the canyons, uh, the passion with the machine. But in reality, I feel like that connection between uh, the human being a part of the machine is just it's the distance between that is just getting bigger and bigger I, I don't I don't I think it feels more like computers nowadays that we're supposed to drive computers and not really cars that we're really connected to I think they're trying too hard and this, this, this is not just for BMW, I just think all major car companies today, they try too hard to be something, something that's inevit inevitably they are not. And they are not going to be because that's just how, where the auto industry is going towards automation and so, so forth. But uh, the design of this, I kind of like the rear, if we go back to the rear uh, right here. It looks pretty cool, it's very very simplistic design, you have a 90 degree angle in one one you know the same width of led going around here 90 degree angle here same angle these two angles three angles are exactly the same and then just a straight line going like that we're probably never going to see some never going to see something like this in production but it's i mean it's a cool concept i guess i do like the concepts that i showed in a, in another video the um, 328 homage and that kind of styling i wish they went towards that design language instead of this computerized simplistic styling. But that's just my opinion. We'll see what this turns out to be. The interior, we're definitely not going to see this interior in uh, production, that's for sure. It's way too out there for uh, all the regulations and stuff that you need to uh, comply with. That's it for this BMW M, uh, what's it called? Vision M next. Uh, that's my opinion on it. Let me know what you think about this car in the comments below. I really look forward to hearing your opinion on this. Do you think that we're moving towards a more connected driving experience or away from it and more 
computerized. I mean, the, the, I guess the answer is pretty obvious when you think about it with the Teslas and stuff like that. I just hope that we, we're still going to have some cars that requires you to be engaged when you're driving. You know, there are still people out there who like to drive, who love to drive, and I'm definitely one of them, and I don't want my car to drive me, I want to drive the car. And I don't know if that's going to be a possibility in the future. I couldn't resist popping this into Photoshop, and let's see what we can do with it. Uh, there were a few issues uh, right away that I really wanted to change when I saw this car. Uh, the first one is this right here. You see, the, the thing that BMW is doing right now is, they are making the grills bigger and bigger, first of all. So this area right here is just getting bigger and bigger. And at the same time, the headlights are just getting smaller and smaller until we're just gonna end up with a tiny light bulb up there with the grills going all the way to this point right here, probably in, a, in five or 10 years or so. So what I wanna do is balance that out a little bit so what i'm gonna do is extend first of all extend the headlights here so let's see if we can do that and see what that's going to look like what i'm gonna do go in here and uh copy this little part right here and then just move it over and down until we have the desired shape of it very very simple i think we could actually copy it one more time and extend it uh further than that something like this just to balance it out so that it looks a lot so that it doesn't look like the headlights are you know disappearing into the body of the car because the headlights to me they are the eyes of a car and uh, i kind of want to have them have a personality and if they are too small it's going to look like a t-rex so let's just fix that real quick and see what we come up with so what i did right here is just uh, clean up the 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 uh cup lines of this light to make it look like it's actually a, a separate part of the car and this is what we got so far so this is the original and then we stretch that out just a little bit like that i think we can even stretch it out more uh let's try and do that just for the heck of it and see what that's going to look like it might even look even better i just got to get it in the correct spot right here move it over around there we're going to actually it looks there's not a lot of work to do here it looks pretty good just straight copying it like that and all of a sudden i think it looks a lot better because now you have a more of a balance between the length or the width of the grill and the width of the headlights so it's not like just the overhang of this massive uh what's it called um kidneys in the front that just hangs over right here and they kind of stick out if you look at this car from this from the side from side view these these come out and kind of hangs over this part right here so just to balance that out graphically in the front i extended this and i'm going to do the exact same thing on this side now So this side is going to require a little bit more work than we had on the on the other side because as you can see we need to fix these gaps that we created here and it's very easy to do that just go over a few times with the airbrush as usual to uh, blend it all together and have some smooth transitions between the, the parts that we just copied and pasted and that should solve this issue that we have right here. All right, so this is what we got so far. We extended the headlights, and to me, that looks a lot better. Only problem that we have now, since we extended these headlights from this point, where they uh, cut nicely right here, as you can see, they just blend nicely into this line right about here. It just blends in really well. Now that we extended the headlights, we have a problem, because they just go into this surface not very gracefully so we gotta fix that and what i'm gonna do is uh, create more of an edge right here and then have this be uh let me create a new layer so you can see what i'm doing right here just have this go to the corner of this kidney 
and then create more of a uh, more of a sharper edge so these two parts this part part number one or surface number one surface number two the contrast between those is going to be greater than what it is right now so let's do that right now and see how that looks All right, so we what we have done here is just made make uh, some couple of small details changes to this redesign to this design and <laughs> redesigned it. I think it made a big difference actually when we extended the uh, the headlights in width and uh, balanced it out with the grill. So this is the redesign and this is the original right here. Just some tiny changes, modifications to the front end. I just saw the car and I thought I have to do something with it in Photoshop. So I just popped it in and made these tiny changes. So let me know what you think below about this redesign. Do you prefer the original or do you prefer this redesign with the longer headlights? Well, there we have it. That's the redesign of the BMW Vision M next. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me today. If you like this video, hit the like button. That really means a lot to me. I'm gonna link all my car makeovers up in this corner right up there so you can go check them out if you want to i'm the sketch monkey i will see you in the next video take it easy do you want to learn how to sketch cars and products check out my online courses in the description below where you'll learn everything from the basic tools to use analog sketching with pen paper and markers digital sketching using photoshop and a tablet you also get downloadable resources and templates and so much more for those of you who aspire to one day work as a designer, I'll even walk you through each page and structure of my two portfolios that got me into a master's degree in car design in Italy and got me my first job as an industrial designer right here in Florida. All courses are 100% online, which means that you can access the courses at any time from anywhere. Click the link below in the description to learn more. I'll see you on the inside.